Hi everyone, welcome to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Phoebe and this is the Phoebe Way. On the Phoebe Way, we talk about life in Germany, legal and social issues regarding life in Germany, coming to Germany, moving to Germany, settling within Germany. In fact, everything, this channel is where you have to be. This girl right here is your plug. Let's get into today's video. So, I have received questions, especially after the Pastor Power Gossip that I did with Tai Faba or on Y Extra. We, I got a few questions about what do I have to know about family reunification visa when I'm coming to join my family permanently or my family member in Germany permanently. What do I have to know? What, what level of language do I have to know? I'm here to give you that information. So don't go anywhere. Get yourself something to drink, something to write. If you have any questions, please feel free. Write your questions in the comment section below. Or if you want it to be very, um, what do you call it? If you want it to be confidential, shoot me an email. It's ldvwithphoebe at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get into this video. What you have to know is that as far as you're going to stay in Germany with, for more than 90 days, you need a visa, okay? Ever to have more than 90 days, no quotation, you need a visa, irrespective of where you come from, irrespective of your citizenship. If you're an American citizen, you still need a visa to live here for more than 90 days. Now, you already know you need a visa, one. Two, what kind of visa do you need? You need the family reunification visa. It's called, in German, it's called Familienzusammenführung. Familienzusammenführung. Who is eligible for this kind of visa? If you are a child or a parent of someone le residing legally in Germany, um, if you are the spouse or the wife, the registered partner, the husband of this person, then you are eligible to apply for this visa. Okay, now let's come to Germany first. The person living in Germany, what are the requirements for this person? Number one, that person must know German. Makes sense, right? So how am I coming to visit you? And you can't speak the language. How will you teach me? How will you teach me? How, how do we even survive? If a letter comes and you yourself, you can't explain how. Okay, so the person living here needs to speak German. Numero dos. Numero dos? Numero dos? What? Okay, let's just speak German because that's what I know. Numero zwei. Number two. <laughs> that person must be residing in Germany legally. Okay, so either the person is a citizen, the person is German, or if the person is not German, the person must have one must have a settlement permit what we used to call unbefristet now it's called the Niederlassungserlaubnis I nearly forgot that so Niederlassungserlaubnis that is what the person needs so one Niederlassungserlaubnis and if the person does not have that the person can have the EU long term residence permit the EU blue card the person must be above 18 the person must be above 18 also logical and the person must be capable of financing the other person coming. The person must be able to finance the other person coming. So you must know German, you must be over 18, you must have a residence permit, meaning you are residing legally in Germany, and must be capable of financing your partner, okay? Now let's go back to the other country, the person coming from the other country. That person must be in the position to speak, to speak at least some basic level of German. That is the R1. So if you can't speak basic level German, go and learn R1. So look for a Goethe Institute in your country and learn R1 German, okay? Number two, you should also be over 18. And if you're coming with minor children and one of the um, parents is living in Germany, the other parent is living um, outside Germany, the parent that is living outside Germany has to transfer the custodian rights to the one living in Germany, that, that they are aware that their child is going to live with this person. If you're an adult, if your person coming is an adult child, it should um, be established that your bringing your child is to prevent unavoidable hardship. If the child does not come to Germany, the child is going to experience hardship that is unavoidable. So that is one thing that you should check. So. If you want to bring your family, make sure that you do it quickly and as early as possible before your children become adults. Let's get into the legal requirements. When do I have to present um, what, okay? 
there are the general rules, general visa requirements, uh huh. There are the general visa requirements. I'm going to just go through them real quickly and also throw them somewhere in the video for you to have a grasp of it. And then after that, we go into the specific requirements for the visa for family reunification, okay? And also, I'm also going to tell you what happens after the visa has been granted, what happens when you do come to Germany, what you should look out for in all of that. Regular visa requirements would be number one, so the applicant has to bring his passport and you have to make sure that the passport is valid for three months beyond the stated date that the person is supposed to stay up to the, so if the person is supposed to leave in April 2021, the visa has to be valid up to at least July 2021, okay, you get that. And also the passport shouldn't be older than 10 years. Mm -hmm. Number two, you should have two application forms. You should have completed them duly, completed and signed and also bring honest and correct information. There's also a separate form whereby you um, assure that you have given the correct information, okay? That is very, very important. Now, you also have to have the duly signed and completed notification forms or not F explanation forms. You need to have two recent biometric pictures or photos. So what we used to call passport pictures you need to also show that you have booked your, your travel, your trip, so the date um, by which um, you're supposed to leave the country or by which you're supposed to go to Germany or enter Germany. And then also you, you need to have your travel health insurance for the period of time that you're supposed to stay in Germany. So travel health insurance, so um, if you're supposed to stay for the, three, the initial three months, your health insurance is supposed to cover those first three months, all right? And then proof of financial means. So the person living in Germany usually does that to show that they can take care of you as you are in Germany. But if you also can also take care of yourself as you're in Germany, voila, do it. But usually it's the person who is in Germany who proves that they can um, host you and um, finance your stay here. And then last but not the least, you need an invitation letter from the person inviting you to Germany. So from your relative, from your spouse, you know, from your parents, from your son or daughter, you need that um, letter invitation letter. Now let's get to the requirements specifically for the family reunification visa. So you need proof of accommodation. Is, is your accommodation suitable to house the amount of people that you are inviting? So if you're coming, if you are inviting your wife and children, will the kids have their room? Is it conducive? You know, how much um, square meters does your apartment have? All of that is going to be asked. I'm not going to lie about that at all. So they're going to ask you that as well. So know that. And then um, you have to prove your uh, language skills. So the person coming A1, basic A1 um, language skills. So that's one is what they tell you. Be gators, dear, be high stools, if you cost it does, you know, the day-to-day -day German that you would need. That's what they are going to ask you. And then we have the spouse or registered partner. You have to bring the certificate. So is it a marriage certificate? Is it a registration of you being together? you know, um, parents, adoption, birth certificate, yeah. What proves that relationship that you people have? If it's a child, you have to bring the child's birth certificate, one. You have to bring the proof of the child's nationality, two. You have to the proof of the rights of care, so custody. Those, these are the specifications specifically, the requirements specifically for the family reunion, okay? So when do you apply for the visa? I would advise that you check the website of the embassy and see all the documents that they have because every country might have different um, specifications and speci um, different requirements. So check the country that you are in. What does the country require from me? When, so when you actually have all this information and you have gathered all the required do documents, you then go ahead and let them know by um, booking an appointment and you go there. And how much does it cost? It costs normally around 75 euros. How long does it take to be processed? Some people's um, requests get processed within weeks, others takes months, months because ours took over a year, I'm sure. I think it's ours took over a year, I think almost two years. I don't even remember. I know it took over a year. So go with a lot of patience, know that it's going to take a longer time. And also, I'm going to, I'm just going to tell you that take the German class seriously because you will need it. You will need it. So now you have arrived in Germany. Can I work? Yes, you can. You have to apply for that most of the time. So the person that you're coming to stay with should also have it, be having a working permit. 
you should also have a working permit ask for that ask questions really go to the also the behavior they go to the rat house go to the authorities be open about it ask questions can i have a working permit and usually you'll be granted the working permit and if there's something that you need to present before you get the working permit you'll be told and you can also start working but usually you can start working after applying for the working permit and sometimes they actually do give it to you depending on your situation every situation is different okay every situation is different guys i think we have come to the end of today's video if there are any questions that you have please don't hesitate to let me know i would gladly answer all these questions for you so just ask me your questions shoot me with the questions i'll answer everything and let me know what you think in the comment section down below as well if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like my content what are you waiting for kindly 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 subscribe and share my content let everybody know what this channel is about i'll be really grateful for that and the next videos we'll be talking about naturalizing in germany what you should look out for what you should know how to pass the test and the apps to use i didn't have to do um, all of that because i i schooled here in germany but i have people who did and i've I've asked them questions, I've interrogated them, and I'm going to bring you all the information. So don't go anywhere, guys. Subscribe to this channel, activate the notification bell, and you'll be the one of the first to know when I upload content, okay? Stay good care of yourselves, stay healthy, stay hopeful, and stay positive. Bis zum nächsten Mal, meine Lieben. Ciao!